What up, what up, what up? You got the original Long Wolf coming at you. Quick little video. Uh, just out here, about to get ready and go to work. And uh, I just, this is just a be aware. You know, my, I always grew up on, you know, the elders always taught me to be aware is to be alive. All right? And that's why there's so many people walking around that are dead, among other things. But anyway, um, what just happened to me not five minutes ago has proven that I was right along. I was right all along about what I was saying about the Internet and what a lot of other people have been saying about how they listening to us and blah, blah, blah. This is confirmation. So. I got T-Mobile, right? Oh, you know, it's a phone carrier for anybody who may not have T-Mobile in their area. It's a phone provider, network provider, you know. So they have been wanting me to do an update for my phone. You know how they, you, they update your phone, new updates and all that bullshit. Well, I really don't like, I really don't like updating my phone. I really don't like updating shit. My phone, my laptop, nothing. Once that McAfee security shit or whatever it was that was on my laptop expired, I never went and got no more and all that other shit. But then again, I don't go online with my laptop, but yet my laptop is always online. I had noticed that even now to this day with my laptop, it updates without being online. And it don't look quite like an update, but then again, if you know what you're looking at, it do look like an update. It is an update, right? Well, not more than five minutes ago, that theory has been confirmed. T-Mobile updated my phone and my internet was off. Right? You know, you can go on your phone and just turn off the internet where, you know, you can still text people, you can still call somebody or whatever. But if you try to get on Google or YouTube or whatever, it's going to tell you you don't have no connection, right? So... It kept asking me to update it. And when it get to the time to where it's supposed to update, I would turn the phone off, right? So I think I did that once, once or twice. Yeah, twice. I just turned the phone off one minute before it was scheduled to update. So on the third time, and this was all this morning. Now, mind you, it's like, it's 547 Central Time. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in California, it's 347. If you're in New York, it's 647. You know what I'm saying? Etc. So this just happened <laughs> just now. So when they got time, because it kept saying, like when it was supposed to update it this morning at 502, I turned the phone off. And then uh it was like, okay, when I turned it back on after that time passed, it was like, okay, well, yo, it, it gave me another um uh message saying, well, we'll just update it in like it was like in another 20 minutes or so. So when that time came, one minute before it was set to update, I turned the phone off again, like turned the power off. So when it, when I turned it back on, it gave me a shorter time this time. Like, yeah, we're going to update your shit in like five minutes or something, right? So I'm like, man, some bullshit. You know, I'm trying to get ready for work. So I just turned the internet off on the phone. Just the internet. And lo and behold, lo and behold, my phone updated. So for anybody who... Might have said, you know, my shit just update out of the blue or, you know, I don't even be online. I don't even be connected in my shit update. You're correct. You're not tripping. Yeah, your shit is always on. It's always dispersing a Wi-Fi signal or some sort of network connection signal. Even when they saying your shit ain't connected. Because keep in mind, I had told y'all that my laptop do it. I got an HP laptop that's a touchscreen. It's a full-blown touchscreen. But it's still a full-blown laptop. You know what I'm saying? The only difference is, is that the screen is fully touchable. You can you can use it like a cell phone. And I never go online with my laptop. But yeah, sometimes my shit will update two or three times a week. Straight up. And they do they do the best they can to try to make it not look like it's an update, but it is. It is. And I do not be connected to the internet. Right now, I can't connect to the internet with the laptop because I ain't got no Wi-Fi. I don't have no, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do the best I can to not fuck with that kind of shit. This is why I like how I was 
when I was explaining to y'all about what the Pope ordered all of the Catholic entities to transfer their assets worldwide into the uh, bank in um, the Vatican or whatever. And I was telling y'all I don't have no, no bank account and no credit card and all that shit. Yeah, I try to be on some stone age shit. When it come down to certain things. When it come down to certain things, I try to be on some stone age shit because it's no good. It's no good for you, man. These cell phones, um, you know, these all these other different type of devices and shit, um, you know, they're no good. And I'm glad this actually happened to me too because I was going to um I was gonna get um, a tablet, right? You know what I'm saying? I got an account with T-Mobile. And you know, my account is in good standing. I've been with them for almost 10 years. And you know, I could walk into T-Mobile and get whatever I want right now, whenever I want it. You know what I'm saying? I could go into T-Mobile. Um, but now I've changed my mind because I said I was going to do it. But I changed my mind now. I'm not buying that shit. Uh, I'm not going to keep y'all. Much love. Uh, we got some... Uh, I got to... Like I said, I want to do a Zoom meeting this coming Wednesday. Matter of fact, over the weekend, I'll send a shout out to some folks. And, and I'll clarify it with y'all and confirm it with y'all that we definitely do it, doing it. And um, I'll go in the Zoom and I'll create the invite. Uh, so that way I can send it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gotta get into some shit, man, because the world, man, the world is changing rapidly. And everybody didn't win gangster, man. All these big ass corporations, like the one I work for, or just corporations in general. Because motherfuckers don't know how to contract with people, they don't know how to stay out of shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand the bullshit that they get themselves in. These motherfucking corporations and shit is just charging forward. This is the thing that irritate me. Motherfuckers are being controlled by corporations and they don't even fucking seem to care. From the United States on down to your local corner store, they're all a fucking business, man. All of them. The ATF is a business. I haven't done it, but what do you bet they don't done in Bradstreet? What do y'all bet? What do y'all bet I can find something on the Security Exchange Commission's website? Okay? What do y'all bet? I done already found shit before. I done already showed y'all the, the United States' corporation's EIN number. You know what I'm saying? I done already talked to y'all about Dunn and Bradstreet and how you can't get a Dunn's number unless your motherfucking ass got an EIN number. The only way you can get an EIN number is if you declare that shit a business. That's the only way. And a lot of times I don't find the EIN number, but I'll find the Dunn's number. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it don't fucking matter. Once you find the Dunn's number to me, to me, that's just like finding the EIN number because it signifies that they're a business. Oh man, much love to y'all, man. Let me get my ass up out of here. But this is also another reason for why motherfuckers have to become fearless when it come down to dealing with this shit. You can't be afraid to strike out because it's like, look at what they doing. These motherfuckers are telling you because you turned your internet off on your cell phone, you physically turned it off that you got to get an internet connection in order to get on Google. But all the while, they can update your fucking phone with you turning your fucking internet off on your phone. How, how, you, how is that not an internet connection? How is it that your phone is, is a one-side connection? That's what it is. It's a one-sided fucking connection. They can still get into your phone and update it even though you turned off the, uh, the what's the name? But at the end of the motherfucking day, you can't go on Google until you go back into your settings and turn your internet back on. What the hell y'all got to be afraid of knowing that these people can do this shit? Now, there's also a simple fix, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to get up out of here. There's also a simple fix. Stop fucking with these electronic devices. Start putting these fucking people out of business, man, by not doing business with them. 
But people ain't gonna do that. You got stupid motherfuckers out here who gotta have a new cell phone every six months. Stupid shit. Putting tablets in their children hand from the time they two and three fucking years old. And by the time they 19, 20, they don't know nothing but that electronical shit. This is original Long Wolf, man. I'm still gonna drop this um, screen share this weekend. So y'all can be on the lookout for that. And like how I said, I will reach out to you brothers and sisters in regards to the Zoom meeting that we're going to do uh, this coming Wednesday coming up. All right. Much love to y'all, man. Be safe out here. Peace.